All right, my name is Travis Smith. I'm a security researcher here with Tripwire. And today I wanna to talk about how to build a threat hunting program using free and open source tools to, available to anybody. Uh, so the first step in building out a threat hunting program is you need to get data to ingest somewhere so you can actually hunt something. You need to be able to have data to look at from uh, various data sources. Uh, if, you're, if you're confused on what data sources you wanna be able to get at, looking at something like MITRE ATT&CK. Uh, they have a lot of very different, different tactics and techniques. And one of the great things is you can look at these tactics and techniques, specifically the techniques, and they list out all the different data sources that you'd want to look at for uh, being able to detect the abuse of these various techniques. Uh, so you can have things like uh, files or process or network data or registry, all these different things that are available to you. Uh, so you can get them using free tools that are available. Uh, if you're looking at network data, a great tool, something like Zeek, the, for the tool formerly known as Bro. Uh, if you're looking at uh, process level data, right, you have something like Sysmon and a lot of different tools to be able to pull data, file data, registry data off of an endpoint. And then bringing all that data into a centralized location, usually something like a SEM or a log aggregator. Uh, one of the great tools available to people is the Elk Stack, which is Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, particularly Elasticsearch and Kibana. So you can store all your data, all this different telemetry within Elasticsearch and use the great tools available from Kibana to be able to dig into the data and be able to actually start your threat hunting program. Uh, so once you have all that data in and actually the act of threat hunting, you have to not just have different uh, you know, things that are going to spike up alerts saying this process ran or this IP address was triggered. Uh, it's more about uh, hunting out the adversarial behaviors and uh, taking that a step higher, looking at the TTPs, the tactics, techniques, and procedures that adversaries are going to be going through. An attack, again, is a great source being able to see that a specific APT group, there's only a few of them that are actually active at any given time, are going to be using these you know, handful of different techniques. So you don't need to be able to detect everything, uh, maybe just detect you know, if they're creating new New scheduled tasks or if they are exfiltrating data via uh, you know FTP or you know whatever it could be if you just have that one level level of detection you could then start scaling that back uh, so using these tools uh, you can start looking at okay I detected this one thing and then let's start looking forward looking backwards uh, and digging into the various different events